Hey guys, welcome back. How does it feel? It is officially draft week. We are just a few days away, so you know we are just going to be grinding out these prospects, trying to take a look at everybody that we can to see how we feel about them, find out if they're hot or not. It's the question that everybody should be asking. So let's go ahead and take a look at J.J. McCarthy, quarterback from Michigan. As you guys know, he led Michigan all the way to the championship and got the dub. He was known for someone who didn't get a lot of throwing attempts, but I don't think that should necessarily be held against him because we need to see what he can do when he's supposed to be throwing the ball. It's not on him that they're not throwing the ball. They had a, a head coach who just loved smash mouth football. So that's not on him. So let's go ahead and take a look at the film as well, and we'll be able to find out if he actually is hot or not. So as we know, from Michigan, hometown is Illinois, entering the draft as a senior, standing in at six foot two and a half, weighing in at 219 pounds, 31 and 5 eighths inch arms with nine inch hands. All of that, pretty standard for a quarterback. So nothing, um, nothing terrible, but looks looks good you know it's, it's better to say that than anything else this is how they do the next gen stats they have his production score ranked fifth at an 84 out of 100 fifth in the draft i should say athleticism score they got him also ranking fifth 83 out of 100 so pretty athletic out of the out of the quarterbacks entering the draft total score combine rank fifth again 83 overall Combine results did not participate. He did the three cone drill at a 6.82 and the 20 yard shuttle at a 4.23, which that's a pretty nice 20 yard shuttle. That's better than some of the tight ends that we've seen. And then did not participate in the branch press or anything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at his stats on the year, see how that looks, and then we can jump right into the film. All right, taking a look at his season stats. On the year, he finished with 2,991 passing yards, which was 35th in the NCAA. He had four interceptions, which was really good. So it's great to see he's able to take care of the ball. And then also he had 22 passing touchdowns on the year, which was about rank 33 in the NCAA. So now that we got a good idea of how that looks, let's go ahead and jump into his snaps and see how he looks on tape. All right, now we are jumping right in. Right off the bat, shout out to Adrian Sienko for the video again. And let's go ahead and take a look. JJ McCarthy, quarterback, Michigan. All right, nice stands in the pocket. Overthrows his, his target there. All right, nice quick. Takes a step back, launches it right away. Right on target. All right, now that we're in the red zone, play action on the run, hits it to his running back, who just uh, moves it back to gain of about one so that was nice on the running back there all right steps up in the pocket he's got some pressure was able to get the throw off in time hit the target but the court or the receiver just dropped it all right another nice quick target it was a receive he's able to get the ball out quickly which is what you want to see be able to make quick reads nice nice good anticipation on that route there all right has his first read here goes downfield oh wide open great catch on the receiver great target by jj there all right steps up he feels the pressure rolls out and he gets sacked L big loss there second and 27 now all right some more pressure he throws it with pressure in his face down the field third and 11 now they got pressure on the edge hits it on the outside perfect throw on the run on the money let's go all right got the pressure on the outside oh hits the target right in the hands Quarterback, I mean, receiver just dropped it right there. Another drop. Another drop. This is not on JJ. He's hitting them in the hands. Obviously, that last one could have been a little bit better. Has a little bit of pressure. Steps up in the pocket. Oh, hold up. Let's see that again. Was that another drop or was that a bad throw? Let's see. Steps up in the pocket. It might have been a little far. It was hard to tell with the, the logo in the middle of the field, but the receiver was outstretched, so I'm guessing it was a little far. All right, just a quick throw. Screen, get it to the running back, or receiver, I should say. Nice, perfect. Running back, or the receiver, broke out to the outside there. Quarterback hit him shortly after his break. Decent anticipation. 
All right, he's not phased by the pressure, continues to stand his ground in the pocket, hits a receiver for a huge gain. Great play. Let's see it again. All right, so the receiver. Oop, I was on the wrong side of the field there. All right, got the motion coming out here. Quarterback looks him, says, fuck it, I'm launching it. Oh, and great. Hits the target deep down the field. Steps up in the pocket. I, I love his pocket presence. I got to admit. He has some great pocket presence. All right, in the pocket here, hits the receiver right on the money, deep down the field, beautiful. All right, we're on to the next one here. Steps up, hits the receiver in the middle of the field here. We're seeing a lot of good reads here. Nice completion there. All right, looks, rolls outside to the pocket, on the run to his left, gets sacked. All right, moving on to the next one here. Nice, great anticipation there. Hits the the receiver shortly after his slot. Gets the pressure, steps up in the pocket. Homeboy is midair, laying down on a table. Somehow gets this ball out. Look at this shit. That was beautiful. If it wasn't for that dude, he would have hit that completion. All right, he's on the run to the outside. This is where I love him. This dude is beautiful on the run. I would love to see a little bit more on the run. Oh shit, they said, fuck it, you wanna see on the run? Yeah, how about A run? Gets a nice gain there, he's got that, that sneaky speed, following his tackle to the outside. Great run. Moving to the next one here. Gets a quick screen, hits the target. Just a quick loss there. Next play, got the motion out here, number one. Sidearm, gets it to 82. Beautiful. There's a, there's a screen, so there's a ton of pressure, so that's why he did the sidearm to get it around the defenders. On the run, on the money. This dude is lightning. This dude is amazing on the run. All right, play action, under pressure, on the run, hits his target once again. All right, play action, rolls outside the pocket. We got the pocket guy rolling on the run. He said, fuck it, I'm tucking it. Oh, he takes it, and he keeps going. He gets 10 on fourth and one. Let's see it again. He hits that play action. He's rolling outside. He sees nobody. He says, fuck it, coach. I got this team on my back. He hits the, the white boy juke move and gets a nice 10 yards. Play action. He's going to the outside. Who said I'm not a dual threat? Another gain of nine. All right, rolling out, play action. Looking deep down the field, launches it down the field. Oh, just outside the outstretched hands. DB was in the receiver's way. He's hitting it with the play action. He said, fuck it, I'm tough. I'm going to run the fucking ball too. He said, damn, Harbaugh loves running the ball, so if I'm going to get any kind of playing time, my ass needs to be able to scramble. Got the motion out here. JJ's launching down the field to the wide open receiver. Way to snag that ball in as well. All right, play action. Ooh, no, it was a read option. He's able to somehow get back to the line of scrimmage. All right, nice. I love this guy's form too. He's got a nice base to him. Let's see if he, all right, he's, I was gonna say, all right, let's time, time for a learning time here. So what we're gonna look at is not on this play but on the next play watch his foot he's gonna step his foot in the bucket i was wondering i'm like oh that that was not good for him that's probably not going to be a good pass let's take a look at it not this one here this one here so look at the foot his foot is is, is way back here it should be more up here it's way back here Look where it ends up, in the dirt behind him. So let's see if that's something that's a little bit more consistent there. Once again, he did it again. He was on the money. He's got a great arm, but he did it again. All right, steps up in the pocket, looks great there. Just a little too far. He's got the motion in the pocket. He's got a good base, quick release. Nice throw and catch. We're in the red zone. 
Quick fade. Oof, that was almost actually a pretty good fade throw. All right, steps up in the pocket, has, has good protection. Wide open receiver. Receiver should have caught that. Receiver should have caught that. It was a little bit behind him on the quarterback. He should have had that lead a little bit more, but it definitely hit the receiver in the hands. All right, he's got pressure. Steps up beautifully. Steps up beautifully in the pressure. It was incomplete, but he was able to step up in the pocket and avoid that sack. Once again, moves on the run, avoids the sack again. Nothing there. He gains just a couple yards on his scramble. This guy has some really good pocket movement. Gets it to number one quickly. He was able to take it in close to the first down. All right, play action. Got the pressure on the outside. Quickly get it off. Great play. All right, moving up. Pressure right in his face. Able to get off the ball quickly. Go through his reads. Hits his target. Great play. Once again, pressure beautifully. We're going to look at that one again. We're going to look at that one again. He has pressure on the outside. He feels it, steps out, and then rolls to the outside. Beautiful. Pretty much gets the first down on there. Fourth and one here. Quick snap, hits his re receiver, first down. All right, play action. Feels the pressure. The, the, the curl, he should have had better anticipation there. Because this play could have been open if he, if he throws this ball one step before this. If he throws this right now, that's a completion. That's cutting down from third down and about four instead of what's going to be third and long because he's he's ex trying to extend the play too much. He's, he's trying to get the first down here instead of taking what the defense has given him. He has plenty of separation here. The, the, the DB was playing way off. If he just had some more anticipation, planted his foot and hit this before, right before he hit this, cur this curl, that would have been a completion. All right, next play here. Oh, beautiful fucking throw in between two defenders. Beautiful throw with the pressure in his face right over the dude's ear. Homeboy wasn't even looking. Snuck that in there for the that's the kind of throw that you're going to see quarterbacks need to make in the NFL. Oh, oh, my God. Another beautiful throw on the run. Oh, this is great. Steps up in the pocket. Oh, and takes the sack. All right. Next play here. This is against Ohio State, guys. Gets it out quickly. Great anticipation on that. On that curl route, he's able to take it and take it for a lot more yards. All right, play action. He's on the run. Beautiful, beautiful throw. On the run. Ooh, another great throw in between two defenders. All right, where are we going? We have this receiver here he could potentially hit. He's rolling out. Number two is available if he needs it. He decides to take it himself, and it's a great decision. All right, he takes the ball. Let's see if there's anybody open. Oop, I didn't even see him. He takes his check down. Great play. Look what it leads you to. Look what it leads you to. All right. Quarterback here. Yep, he's open. Quick check down, which gets him the first down, if not close to it. All right. We're in that red zone. Quick play here. Oof. Yeah, they didn't have enough blockers for this play to work. Safety read that all the way. All right. You have him on the outside here. Nice quick anticipation there. All right, first read there, goes to his second read, hits him. Great play. Play action, rolls to the outside. Do we see our guy over here? Is he, yep, he's open, but decides to, damn, making a beautiful adjustment. Beautiful, wow, that's a gorgeous throw. Let's see that again. Wow, that's beautiful. Gets it exactly where the defender could not get it, but only his receiver can. That's a beautiful throw right there. And that's saving your receiver from getting blown up too. In the pressure, sneaks it in there. Great throw. Another great throw. All right, play action. Steps up in the pocket, launches down the field. Oh, that one's a little high. That one he should have had. That was on. That was on JJ there. 
All right, got the pressure on the outside. Unfazed, hits that slant route. Let's Now that we know what the play is, let's check the anticipation. All right, let's check it here. The brakes right here, just a little late, but still great. Got the completion. I would just like to see a little bit quicker. All right, nice throw and catch there. Steps up in the pocket, launches it to the open number six. Ooh, who's able to make him miss for an extra yard? I'm really liking this film, guys. It's some easy, just gets the easy yards. Taking what the defense gives him. He's giving me that kind of Aaron Rodgers kind of vibe with him. All right. Movement in the pocket. He rolls. Ooh, and he's able to get the completion still with the DB all over him. All right. Steps up in the pocket. Just gets cutting down from third and seven, second and 17. Now to third and manageable-ish. Feels the pressure. Ooh, nobody open there. He tried to extend it as much as he could. Homeboy got cracked. Play action, roll into the outside. I was going to say, if he hit that, that dude was fucking clamped up. If he hit that throw, that would have been crazy. He's got a pressure. He's rolling to the left. Just had to take the sack. You got to learn to throw it away in those situations. Just taking the quick yardage here. Third and second now. Yep, that was the correct read. That's what I seen. All right. He's just cutting down the field. Quick reads, quick reads. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Gets the ball out quickly. Steps up in the pocket. Hits the ref? That ain't the, that's the wrong white, dude. All right, hits his number, number seven here for a nice quick gain here. All right. Steps up under pressure, hits the, oh, beautiful. He hit it right where he needed to. That's not, that's not on him. All right. Rolls to the outside here, looks down the field. Beautiful, another great throw. All right, gets it to his running back quickly. Just cutting that field down. I'm sure they probably ran the ball next. Oh, flag, never mind. Second and 15. Oop. Just hits his check down here. Third and nine. This is on him. Is he going to be able to get a completion? Third and nine. Number one is open. Beautiful read. Beautiful catch. Roman Wilson. All right. Oof. Underthrown. All right. Just hits it to his check down running back real quick. Gain of one. Third. Second and five now apparently. All right, quick read, goes to his first, not there, goes to his second, hits him for the completion and first down, or pretty close to it. Play action, takes it himself. Oof, the white boy can barely move and he's falling on himself. He's got just enough gas. He said, all right, let me try again, coach. Let me try again. Oh, fuck, I got one. All right, let's try it again. Let's just throw the damn ball then, all right? Under pressure, got defenders all around him, rolls to the outside, Hits a beautiful fucking throw on the run. It doesn't matter. It was incomplete. JJ did his job. All right. Only thing I would have liked more is this boy not to run back, you know, 15 yards. He's really going to make... Because whenever you... The reason why I say that is because if you're running back that far, even though you're able to make the throw, you're making the throw itself slower. Because it has now more field it has to travel before it hits the, the target, giving the DBs more time to react. So I would like him to step up a little bit more instead of running back so much, but he'll be able to learn that you know, with some training. All right, rolls to the outside here. Keeps his eyes down the field. He doesn't see anything. Looks like uh, he threw his interception there. Yep, he should have threw it away. There was nothing there. He should have thrown it away. All right, just doing a screen just to try to get it moving here. All right. Great, great protection there, and there's nothing there. All right, play action. Rolls to the outside. He's got multiple options. I don't know if that got tipped, but he had multiple options there. All right, play action. Gets it off quickly to 18. Alabama's not going to not gonna be fooled by this stuff. They're going to be... 
coming down, trying to take this stuff away from him. But damn, white boy got the white jukes. Okay. Got the motion over here. Play action. Let's see if there's anybody open. All right, pressure. He rolls to the outside. He's got this dude wide open now. The DB fell. He noticed it and hits him. Great play. All right. We got multiple options over here. Perfect. Under pressure. Hits the throw for the easy touchdown. That's what I like to see. All right. Quick read. We have this guy open here. Great play. Great throw. Great read. Next one here in the shotgun. What do we see? It's QB draw. Doesn't get much out of it. Third and nine now. Got the motion coming down here. All right, what do we see? He hits that receiver quickly. Is he going to be able to fight for the first? No, he gets fucking judo flipped. All right, play action. What do we see? Do we see anything? Ooh, great anticipation. I know it didn't get to completion, but this is the anticipation I'm talking about. Watch the receiver here. Roman Wilson, I believe, right here. As he goes up, or up here, I should say. And hits the, has the throw already out of his hands. All right, now we know who to watch for sure this time. And then watch, all right, as you see here, JJ throws now, way before the break. If he had a little bit better accuracy there, that would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. Let's now pause it to see. So JJ, this is what I'm talking about. And this is later on in the season, so he's had time to watch film and try to learn these things. He is already releasing this ball. He's still running. He hasn't even made his break yet. That's the anticipation I like to see. This is how you get these throws in the NFL. So by the time he's, he hits that curl, he's open. It was not an on-target throw, but at least we got to see him try to throw with anticipation there. All right, fakes the pitch, hits the wide open receiver in the middle of the field. Great read. All right, it's the flea flicker. Oh, he hits a, he gets the Odell. He hit the one handed catch, hits the ball down the field for the huge gain. Great play. All right, he has this receiver here. Perfect read, hits him with a huge gain. Huge gain. Can't be afraid to take those easy ones when they're there. All right, got some pressure. He steps out to the outside. Is there any receivers open? Nothing that I'm seeing, throw it away. Oh, he hits his receiver who comes up, recognizes there was nothing there, creates a play when there was nothing there. He's open right here, hits him. Oh, I wish he would have let him a little bit more, but great, great find. It's the snap. Just incompletion there. All right, quick read. Hits the receiver. Receiver should have caught that. That was on the receiver. I love the quick reads. I love the quick reads. Under pressure. Just throws it away. Third and nine. Where are we going on third and nine? We roll to the outside. Hits number seven. Incompletion. I would like to see him take a bigger shot there on third and nine. You can't always take the check down. All right, nice gain there. Just a quick screen. They're trying to run through the air on this play. All right, it's that five wide. Are we ready for the five wide? Quick read. Just another quick screen. Third and 17, they just try to chop it down to third and 10. Now we're in a third and second situation. Rolls to the outside, stops, plants his feet, throws it a little high. This is in the Rose Bowl, guys. All right, steps up. Hits the running back for the wide open, huge gain down the field. Beautiful. Down by three. I mean, down by seven. Three minutes left to go. Fakes the, the handoff, takes it himself, runs it up the field. He's got them quicks. He's got them quicks. All right. Fakes the handoff. Looks down the field. What does he see? He sees open receiver right here. Great throw. Oh, great catch by Roman Wilson. All right, two minute offense, two minute offense. We're on, the, we're on the five. Fakes the handoff, he rolls to the outside. Hits Roman Wilson for the jumping in touchdown. Let's go. All right, now we're against Washington. We're in the championship game. Gets the first down here. 
All right, fakes the handoff, looks downfield. Open receiver here, great look, great find. All right, play action. There's pressure, he steps up, oh, nothing there, he has to take the sack. Second and seven, play action. Looks down the field, open number six right here. He decides to hit the guy, Roman Wilson. I didn't even see him down there. Great, great find. I didn't see it. Oh, a little bit outside, a little bit outside. All right, he tried to make a tight throw there. They ended up having to settle for a field goal there. All right, play action. Steps back, rolls out to the outside. Ooh, great anticipation there. Great anticipation for the nice, huge gain. Down the field. Little high there on that curl, but he tried to throw with anticipation. Should have had it lower, though. All right, got the pressure on the outside. Gets it off quickly, hits his receiver, but close call. DB might have batted it. Nice throw with anticipation. See, as we're getting later on in the season, we're starting to see him throw with more anticipation. That's what we want to see. Great throw. All right. Takes a shotgun. Throws it just a little high on the outside there. He's got the motion here. Second and 18. Where are we going on second and 18? He had the open receiver right here. Where did he go? Yeah, he should have had that right here. He should have chopped that field in half. He was open there. All right, wide open right here. Did he take the short one? Hold on, let's take a look here. Let's see if he missed it or if there was the pressure. All right. There was pressure here. He's open, though. He just made the wrong read. But potentially that guy here who went this way, potentially if he thrown it, would have went to the outside. So that one's hard to say. All right, he's got the pressure. He makes the dudes miss. Oh, and he's still going. He's got that white boy quickness. All right, play action. He said, fuck it. I got them jets I'm trying to show you guys. He runs it in for the first down again. He's trying to show you motherfuckers. I'm Derrick Henry. Quick reach, sidearm. Gets blown up. All right, another quick throw. They said, fuck it. Roman Wilson, you try. He said, all right, fine. Gain a seven. All right, play action. Rolls to the outside. He has number six there. Great find. Just drops it, just drops it. That's not that's not on JJ. All right, rolls to the outside. He's looking, oh, he's tripping. Oh, he's flipping. All right, play action. Steps up under pressure, hits the target under pressure, and he takes it and he keeps running. Great find, great throw with a defender right in his face. Fakes the pitch, rolls to the outside. He had number six here if he threw it with better anticipation, but he goes for the, the shorter throw, which is fine. And that is the game. All right, perfect. We know what we see here. I love it. I think he's a great pick. He's one of my top quarterbacks that I would have. Let's go ahead and find out if I find out if he's hot or not. Let's see. All right, guys, now it's time for that question. JJ McCarthy, is he hot or not? Take a look at his accuracy. I'm giving him a 9 out of 10. You've seen he had that 72% throwing accuracy on the season. And then you've seen time and time again, him hitting the receiver right on the money over and over again. He did have an, a couple occasional bad throws, but that's what you expect when you're reviewing the entire season long worth of throws to see a couple of them here or there. But that was not the normal. He, for sure, normal, he's hitting on the money each and every time. And then moving on to arm strength. I'm going 8 out of 10. He seemed to have pretty good zip on the ball, able to throw the ball with different arm angles, able to easily hit the ball down the field. You see that he was mostly going with the quick reads, getting the first downs, the check downs, stuff like that. But then he definitely could hit the ball deeper down the field whenever. You've seen it time and time again. He definitely was not just a check down. Pocket movement, 9 out of 10. This dude has surprisingly really great pocket presence. The pressure... He's able to step up in the pocket, make the throw with defenders in his in his face. You see him able to roll outside of the pocket, throw on the run. Beautiful. It's great. Nine out of ten. Moving on to the next one. Throw on the run. Ten out of ten. This dude is a monster on the run. He's able to make 
NFL caliber throws while on the run in between defenders, sidearm, however you want to do it, time and time again, showing us how it's done. 10 out of 10 for sure. Speed. I'm giving him 7 out of 10. This dude has that, that sneaky quickness, bro. Like, this guy is, like, time and time again is outrunning defenders, and it's just like, what is going on here? It just it just doesn't look like he'd be fast, and all of a sudden, he's taking damn read options like he's goddamn Lamar Jackson. Hot or not, you know the answer. This boy's hot. This guy's the real deal. This is not just a late draft, just like, oh, he won the championship. We're just spiking him up there. No, this guy's the real deal, in my opinion. I definitely think he's a top quarterback in this draft and i predict him as the third pick overall that's the kind of talent that we're dealing with here he's very consistent you know what you're getting from him and if you got a top quarterback if you draft him and you're gonna be pretty happy for sure now that's my opinion if you guys agree with me like the video show me some love we're trying to hit 250 subscribers please every subscription matters it really counts especially for small channels like mine please show me some love and I will see you guys on the next one.